Good morning, everyone. You're watching Breakfast Television here on City. There are approximately 13,000 people in the Calgary area living with Alzheimer's disease or related to dementias. For Alzheimer's Awareness Month, we wanted to shine a light on the people who care for these patients. Here to help us understand the challenges and the resources available to these caregivers is Cindy Bond from the Alzheimer's Society of Calgary. Good morning to you, Cindy. Good morning, Leah. Can we start with this stat that you sent me? This really kind of blew my mind. According to Statistics Canada, 28% of Canadians Canadians 15 years of age and over are caregivers. Yes. That's young, 15 years of age. It is. Wow. Caregivers are getting younger and younger. Wow. Is that just a consequence of our aging population or what's happening there? I think primarily, yeah. yes. Yes, we do definitely have that aging population and we have young onset dementia sure. as well. Right, right. So people are getting this disease at younger and younger ages. Yes. So what does it look like to be a caregiver for someone with one of these dementias? Well, I think in, initially, as caregivers have, have shared with me, that there's often a lot of fear associated with a diagnosis because of what they've perhaps heard uh, in community or on television, things like that. So, you know, a lot of what we do then is dispelling some of the, the myths around sure. that diagnosis. Right. So a lot of fear, a lot of grief mm. for everyone involved, with the, including the person with the diagnosis, of course. Sure, yes. sure. So once you get to that point, though, where you're starting to understand the disease and, and you're reducing and working on that fear, what does it look like, though, in a practical sense, sort of on a day-to-day -day basis, looking after someone with Alzheimer's disease? Well, I think it's, again, as caregivers have shared with me repeatedly, that it's navigating keeping that person safe sure, while giving them the autonomy they still deserve and need. Right, um, right. So it's a balancing act for caregivers mm -hmm. uh, in a very practical sense later on, much later on um, in the progression of the disease. Then it's very much hands-on care, so it's toileting, bathing, those type of issues come up later on, for sure. Sure, sure, at the end of the stages of that dementia. Mm -hmm. And that can go on for a long time, can't it? It can. We have one caregiver um, who's been in contact with the society for years. It's been 20 years for him. 20 years? He's been a caregiver, yes. Wow. Yeah. So it's how do these journey. caregivers like function and have their own lives when they're dealing with something like this that can be so overwhelming? It's a lot of balls in the air. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so we, we hope definitely that they reach out. The biggest message I, I would like to share today, I guess, is talk. Right. Caregivers often say that it's self-care is one more thing they have to do. Right. Um, and they're exhausted already. So I, I would just like to say talk, reach out, um, contact us. We'd love to hear from them. There's actually quite a community in Calgary um, that we'd like to share with them. Uh, there's a lot of support. They're okay. not alone. They're not alone. That's the big message. Yes. What can you do for these caregivers? Uh, we have support groups. Mm -hmm. We have educational programming as well um, in community. And every month we have a caregiver strategies mm -hmm. education component. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the support groups, they can meet with social workers one-on-one. -on -one. Right. We're really there for as long as they want us in their lives and whatever that means for them. So we've met people in coffee shops. Sure. We've had them come in one-on-one. -on -one. They can email. A lot of them we never meet. Um, it's over the phone. It's over the phone. Okay, yeah. so lots of options for them. Yes. And you do have an event coming up that we want to tell people about towards the end of the month. It's called Talking About Dementia. This is on Saturday, January 27th. It's in the morning, 9.30 to 11.30. It's, a, it's in Confederation Park at the 55 Plus Activity Center. And of course, you have lots of resources on your website as well. So you yes. can always head there. Can you tell us your website address again? www calgaryalzheimerssociety.ca. Perfect. So lots of options there yes. for people. Cindy, thank you so much for telling us all thank about you. this morning. Thank you.